Hey guys, here's a little video of a old ceiling fan motor that I turned into a generator. It's probably going to end up being micro hydro. I had a few of these fan motors kicking around. And I just got a new one from the dump that was a little larger than the others I had. And uh, one of my smaller fans, the cover from one of those fans fit on this larger fan motor and allowed me to just stack one magnet rather than stacking them on top of each other. Got a very small clearance between the rotor and the magnets here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But I have two magnets for each coil of wire where my finger is here. Turn it a little bit. We got a positive, positive. Over at the next coil, I have a negative, negative, positive, positive, all the way around. Something like 32 magnets in there. I'll try to flip it over here so we can get a little voltage reading. Spin it around in my vise. It's not. <laughs> completely done yet, but will be sooner or later. Got a rectifier hooked up to this from an alternator. Got my meter set on C volts. Hopefully the camera picks this up. I'm just spinning it by hand here. I can get up over 100 volts DC just by hand. It's not turning out to be a very good video with just the way this light's shining on me here. Let's see. Is that something a little different? Spinning it with my finger here. Get over a hundred volts out of it. That's about it for now. I just wanted to show you guys that there is a combination of these old fans. As you can see, the cover on the right is much larger than the cover on the left. The cover on the left is from a different fan motor but it fit right on there and allowed me to just use single magnets rather than stacking up several maybe can get a better view of it run these magnets run really close You can see here in the video, I got each coil of wire. I got positive, positive. Next coil is negative, negative. Positive, positive. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys that there is a good combination out there if you get a couple of these motors. Try to get a smaller one and a bigger one. And if you need some real good information, the Mud Man has good videos on YouTube. He really shows you everything about these. That's where I've learned everything from his videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching.